low point in other unsafe directions, including the suspect. It may point in all these directions before I can get it away from him. And it could go off at any point. He's planning on you being here. As soon as you do this, you disrupt, divide his focus, disrupt his plans. Disable his body. Disable his body. And finally, destroy his will to fight. What do you want people to remember you for? I hope, I hope people long after I'm gone uh, uh, think I was a good father, a uh, good grandfather, maybe a good parent, maybe a good instructor, maybe uh, this, this art was advanced ever so slightly because I was here. Uh, that's all the epitaph I need. All right, I told you this was going to happen. Uh, uh, we, we were out on the range today, and um, a very fitting poem came to mind, and he shared it with us. And I thought it was going to be very short and clever, and it really turned out to be something uh, deeper than that. And so I want to uh, kind of put you on the spot and ask you to uh, share uh, something with us. And then with that, uh, uh, John, I know, has to be exhausted. Uh, I'm tired, and uh, so uh, I'll let you do that, and then we will uh, uh, call it a night. Okay. Well, uh, the, the poem I shared with you this afternoon was uh, one of Kipling's, which uh, Kipling is one of my uh, favorite uh, writers. He was, <laughs> he was so clever and, you know, and so, uh, so wonderfully expressive, uh, and uh, I marveled at his ability to do that. And so some of what he writes, I sometimes uh, quote, and this was a, uh, a, a poem that he wrote, as I mentioned earlier, as a warning to his, uh, his countrymen and to really to all of Western civilization on the dangers of uh, failing to stand up and failing to do what's right when doing what's right really means something. Uh, and. Um, uh, the name of the poem was uh, Dane Geld, and of course the term Dane Geld was synonymous with scandal uh, during several uh, uh, kingships in England where uh, the uh, Scandinavian Vikings were, uh, who raided the coast periodically, were paid off to stay away rather than confronted. And uh, although it seemed very convenient, uh, again, as Kipling pointed out, there's no way that can have a happy ending. Uh, so, uh, if I can recite it correctly, it goes something like this. Um, it is always a temptation to an uh, armed and agile nation to call upon a neighbor and say, We've invaded you last night, and we're quite prepared to fight. Unless, of course, you're willing to give us cash to go away. And it's called asking for Danegeld. And the people who ask it explain, you've only to give them the cash, and then you get rid of the Dane. It is always a temptation for a fat and lazy nation to puff up and look important and say, we know we could defeat you, but we have the time to meet you. So we're simply going to give you cash to go away. And it's called paying Dangeld. But we've proven it again and again. Once you start paying Dane Geld, you'll never get rid of the Dane. One should never risk damnation by tempting any nation lest they fall into error 
and go astray. And so when you're requested to pay up or be molested, it is thy better plan to say, we never pay Dan Geld, no matter how trifling the cost, because the end of that game is oppression and shame. And a nation that plays it is lost. And then I add uh, a stanza from a, another poem. Sweet is a taste of forbidden fruit. Likewise the glitter of pirated loot. Sometimes in a crisis, a vice's devices seem worth the high prices. But for men of honor, the question is moot. Wow. And that's the way I am the class. <laughs> John, uh, it has been a pleasure training with you, uh, training under you. Um, uh, you know, I've been uh, an instructor for uh, a short time and uh, I'm a better instructor and a, a better firearms uh, operator today. That's quite a compliment, and thank you. Uh, um, and, and it has been a pleasure sitting down and just talking to you, and thank you so much for sharing that. Um, Anytime. Uh, and I, I really look forward to seeing you again. Well, you too. Thanks for joining us. Yes, sir. Because you're the one that enables me to do this, and uh, yeah, I appreciate you being here. And I appreciate you going out now and spreading the sunshine. <laughs> All right. Thanks, okay. Jeff. Now he's got to go back and start from the beginning. The longer you stay in one place and play into his plan, the more dangerous it becomes.